Mr. Monk takes all of his cases very seriously. But when a woman is killed, it's different. It hits him pretty hard. Because of Trudy. Yeah, because of Trudy. Trudy Monk, the love of Adrian Monk's life, and the only case he hasn't been able to solve. They met 28 years ago, while they were both attending the University of California. They were married a short time later. Trudy's love was so strong that most of his phobias and personal demons were kept at bay. It would be the happiest time of his life. Oh, you wouldn't recognize him. Back in the day, he loved his work, he loved his life. He used to come walking in here whistling. He hasn't whistled for a long time. Then, in a flash, she was gone. Two weeks before Christmas, 1997, Trudy Monk was downtown running some errands. She returned to her car in a parking garage on Somerset Avenue. Our top story tonight, the wife of a highly decorated San Francisco detective was killed this morning, the victim of an apparent car bombing. Trudy Monk, a 35-year-old freelance journalist, died a short time later at St. Jude's Hospital. Her husband, Adrian Monk, was by her side. The police are pursuing several leads, but have made no arrest. The case is still open. It has been Adrian Monk's obsession for 11 years. After the hospital, he came back, back home. He just sat in that chair all night. I could see his soul leaving his body. Adrian died too. The bomb was across town, but it killed my brother too. I saw him coming apart like those rockets that hit the atmosphere at the wrong angle. And nothing I could do. So you can't talk about Trudy? You didn't leave your house for what? Three years? The psychiatrist said you'd never work again. But here you are, a hundred cases later. What keeps you going? I can't die until I know. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there.